Fuck the world here. Uh, subscribe. All right, hey guys. I'm just doing a video on how to uh, burn Xbox 60 games. Um, now I have a cold, so I might sound a bit stupid. Um, but anyway, yeah. So first off, you need a uh, dual air burner. So on your burner, there should be a uh, somewhere on it, usually on the flat part that pops out. Uh, it'll say DVD R or DVD plus R DL, and the small font it should say dual layer. Um, if it if you don't have a dual layer burner, then you just I guess you gotta go buy one um, at your local electronic store, Best Buy, Source, uh, Future Shop, Rare Shack, whatever. Um, and obviously, it needs some dual layer disc. All right. So first off, how did now? I use Xbox 60 ISO.com just because I find it uh, the best website. Well, mainly because it has a guy called his uh, his name is uh, Zarth. So that's his thread right there. Uh, you can just like write that down, or I'll put it in the description. And uh, yeah, so I highly recommend uh, this guy right here, Zarth. He is amazing at for uh, putting them up before they uh, they actually come out. They're released, and um, how reliable he is. All right, so as you can see, Forza Three is right here. Uh, now I'll show you the date. It is the 14th, and this has been up for I believe three or four days. So about the, it came up probably the 10th up here. Um, there's two discs to. Uh, Four the three. Um, you want to copy and paste this into a new tab, uh, and then just push enter. Okay, four. Put that in, and then they just patch it. If you, if you use Internet Download Manager, which I highly recommend, so you just click regular download. And then you just click start download. Uh, I've already downloaded this, so uh, yep. Now, alright. So, once you have all seven parts, all seven parts downloaded, it uh, it will go into some file. Um, so, for me, since I'm using Internet Download Manager, it's in my documents, downloads, compressed. As you can see, there's all seven parts. So you want to highlight them all, you can either drag, well you can't drag, but if you click shift, then go to the last one, it'll highlight the ball. And you want to um, uh, right click, extract files, because you want WinRAR, so you can extract them all into one. So uh, you can get a trial version, and uh, just for now, and then later on you can go onto YouTube and uh, crack it. So yeah, you just click extract files, pick to where you want it. So I'll, I have on my desktop a file, my desktop a file called Xbox Xbox Games. So I'll, I would click OK. Then you click OK, put in the password. It's uh, right there, xbox360iso.com. Uh, you put it in, and you click OK. But it's, I'm not gonna do it because I already have it extracted, uh, just for purposes of this video. So yeah, and uh, if you did it correctly, it will extract, it'll put all seven parts into a folder, into the, and uh, so right here, it puts two files. Um, what I like to do is I'd like to delete the uh, DVD file, just in case it's corrupted, and you want to open AVGX. You want to go to autofix, make sure it's on level two, so it'll fix uh, whatever fails. And then, uh, so yeah, and then you want to click this button over here on the top, and you want to find the ISO wherever you saved it. So if you want to put the ISO in, and you want to click, go down to the bottom, click launch. It'll come up with this screen, and uh, it'll have yellow if you deleted it. If you didn't, it'll just say that there is one, but I like to delete it so it creates one. Um, and do you want to see all green? Valid, valid. It's still check passed. Now, this uh, it failed the verification because it is not released yet. The game, so AVGX K 
can't verify that it is completely correct, but if it's stealth, if it passes a stealth check, that means that Xbox can't. There's no flaws in it, and they can't really they can't um, notice that you're playing a burnt one. Uh, so yeah, it'll it'll fail that until the game's released. So you just click exit, and as you can see, I'll refresh it again. As you can see, there's DVD. All right, now um, now you want to go to Image Burn. Uh, I recommend using. There's many uh, different burning programs, but I prefer Image Burn because the one I'm familiar with. So this will come up two different uh, boxes. There's just a log, what you're doing, and at the top the actual burning. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different ones you can do. So the one you want is write image file to disk. Click on that. Now uh, you want to go to tools, settings, write, and you see how it, it's calculated optimal. You want to use user specified, and uh, you have to put a number, and I'll show you quickly how to do that. So I'll just go into my Xbox games. And you want to right click on this, open with. So this, once again, this is the DVD file. And you want to just open, uh, open it with Notepad. And there is the layer break. And that's what you want to type in there. So uh, it's one nine, one nine, three, seven six zero. So then once that's in, click OK. I'm just going to exit that. Um, browse for your DVD file. So this is important. You do not want to put in the ISO. And see, it'll do it automatically. But uh, so you want to open the DVD file. When you open with uh, Notepad, you want to open or open that one in the burning program. So then you want to put in your disk. Uh, and then for write speed, I I don't really notice the difference. I just some people say 2.4 is the best. Honestly, I don't notice the difference. Um, so yeah, on the right side, all this pops up. There's a lot of information. Main thing you want to notice is status is empty, um, and that's a and supported write speeds. So there's a bunch of different supports that. Different discs, more expensive discs, have a higher write speed. So then you want to just go over here and click this button. This button, this the screen will change. Um, it'll take a while. It takes me about 27 minutes, I believe. It uh, it's pretty exact for the time remaining. Um, and then after. After it's 100%, your disk, your DVD drive will pop out and pop back in automatically. Do not take it out. If you have checked the verify box, it uh, and I recommend it. It uh, it'll pop out, pop back in. Do not eject it again. Right? It is gonna re verify it, go over everything, make sure that it burnt correctly, and um, yeah. So uh, that's that. And uh, I'll be back when it's done. All right. I hope this video helped you guys. I'm just gonna uh, show some gameplay of Forza 3 just to show that it actually works. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, thanks guys. I get it.